Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Everyday Joy podcast. I am your host, Ash Owen, and I cannot wait to find moments of joy with you today. If you haven't already, why don't you give us a five-star written review Jump in and tell us what do you love most about the Everyday Joy podcast. When you do that, it just means more people can find out about this podcast and become a part of our incredible community. Why don't you get ready to dive into today's words to live by. Proverbs 15.30, the CEV version. A friendly smile makes you happy and good news makes you feel strong. Jen, we are almost wrapping up the week. It's another Thursday. Another day. I have to tell you, I'm so excited (laughs) because this week, it might actually be tonight or maybe it was yesterday because we we record this like a little bit ahead of time. (laughs) I get to do a taste testing for my wedding. And we oh. try all the tasty foods. Oh, no. And I'm a bit of a foodie. I love food. I love cafes. Yes. I love restaurants. It's a passion of mine. So the fact that I get to sit and try every possible option <laughs> for my wedding, I, like, I literally can't tell you how excited I am. So um, I'll give us an update. I'll, I'll give us a menu review. Yes, <laughs> yes please. <laughs> if anyone be- cares. <laughs> Yes, me. I love food. So, yes, send it over. So, I can't wait. So, that's that's all happening at the moment. But, Jen, this verse, I love this verse. And to be totally honest, I think that you are the epitome of this verse. And as someone who, like you said on Monday, you don't always have the easiest of seasons. Mm. But the fact that you are always so joyful, you always encourage, you always uplift, you always see the best in people. I think that is such a perfect, sorry, I think that it is so perfect that you are getting to speak out on this verse today. So sweet. No, but it's true. And I think that we've all experienced it. Mm. Someone being kind, someone being generous, someone speaking life over you that just changes the way that your day goes. Mm. We want to be people who gives a friendly smile, who shares good things, who goes out of their way to care for people. Yeah. And I'm and like this is a very surface level practical, right? This isn't saying make a meal. This isn't saying give hours and hours. This is literally saying, what is your demeanor? Yeah. How are you interacting with people? How do you treat the waiter? How do you treat the person at the shopping center who's you know, bagging your groceries. Mm. How are we as people at reflecting the love of Jesus? Yeah, absolutely. Love that. It's so true. It's like, how do you, the way that you treat the waiters who are there literally serving you, how do you treat them? Yeah. You treat them with respect. You treat them with love. And, you know, they're there doing a job for you. They're there taking time out of their day to make sure that you are happy. And this is the verse, like, It's about being happy. It's about being strong. It's about being community. And a friendly smile, it's so easy to do. Yeah. So incredibly easy. Like you just move a couple muscles in your your face or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm an accountant. What do I know? (laughs) But it's so incredibly easy Mm. to just give a friendly smile to a stranger, to that person who's making your coffee, to someone who's you're just walking past in the office. It's so incredibly easy. It's so incredibly easy to do and it's practical. Yeah. It's who doesn't do it? Yeah. And I think it just shows us that the Lord wants us to represent him mm-hmm. in our basic interactions with people. Yeah. You know, I have been really convicted and I mentioned it a little while ago, like talking about the waiter and I think it was with Tilly. We were talking about, you know, getting a heart for people. Yeah. And I'm going to be totally honest. I've started doing this thing. Like, I'm always a bit of a smile. Like, if I'm going on a walk, I'll smile and I'll say hi to the people that walk past. If I'm at the shops, I I sort out eye contact. I'm weird like that. (laughs) I'm like, look at me so I can smile at you and let you know Jesus loves you. I'm weird. Anyway. Forcing Jesus love. Literally. But here's the thing. I have noticed everyone is so busy. Mm -hmm. so consumed on their phone, so consumed with not wanting to be distracted or talking to other people that eyes are on the floor, Mm -hmm. eyes are in the phone. We are so caught up 
in avoiding unwanted uh, interactions that we distract ourselves, we look at the floor, we watch our feet, we literally deliberately try not to see people. And I think what this verse shows me is like we need to be people who deliberately smile at strangers. We need to be the people who like even to the point of I've started to try and choose talking to a cash register. A cash register? What's it called? A cash... A cashier? Cashier. Yes. Um, versus using the self-checkout. Yeah. Because how are we meant to, in in very gentle, quiet, non-aggressive ways, show the love of Jesus to people? And I'm not saying you're going to talk to every cashier about <laughs> Jesus. But I'm saying we need to actually be people that look yeah. for opportunities Maybe, you know, maybe if you have the space, like, let me say that again. If you have the space and if you have the time, go to a cashier. If you have the space and if you have the time, you know, comment to someone that, you know, their outfit looks nice. Or Some of my favorite conversations have happened through just having a general chat. I was at the football the other day and we're sitting next to this like dad and his son. And not a single other person spoke to us in the, wow. in the sphere, right? Yeah. But I was really like, no, I should need it. Like, just talk to them. Yeah. Just talk to them. So I started having a bit of a chat with this um, dad and son and it wasn't deep. It wasn't profound, but it was connection. And I think that's what God is saying in this yeah. is he, he wants us to have moments of connection because yeah. we can live a life without connection. Yeah. And, and we as Christians need to be people who sought out moments to connect, yeah. moments to love, moments to show joy and, and the love of Jesus. Yeah. I love how you shared that your footy experience because in my mind that this event came up in my head um, and this is back at the Taylor Swift concert that was in Melbourne. Good old T-Swift. We love, we love. We, we end up going to the same night. Same night, opposite sides Completely. of the stadium. Yep. New album is out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I happened to get these tickets through a cousin, but there was a single ticket. So I was up there by myself. Well, my cousin was down below, like at the bottom, at the bottom. And I was at the very top. Yeah. And at first I was like, oh, I'm going to enjoy it. Like, will I enjoy it? Will I enjoy Taylor Swift? Like with all these other people who I don't know. And I have to say at that moment, during the concert, because Taylor is so incredibly good at what she does, <laughs> I was sitting next to um, someone else who had a single ticket as well. And she was there by herself and she was having the time of her life as well. I was like, you know what? I'm going to too. And we end up having such a beautiful bond, um, especially after the 1987. 1989? 1989. Oh, 87's when I was. <laughs> <laughs> I always say that. 1987. <laughs> um so after that, I looked at her and I went, oh, my gosh, my life has changed. It was so good. And I'm sitting there going, oh, 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 my gosh, I need to share this with her. And then we literally were there hugging each other, complete strangers, because we're sharing this moment, that connection with each mm-hmm. other. I didn't share to her, like, Jesus is going to save you. You need to love Jesus. But she knew in that moment that I was sharing a special moment with her, a connection, a human connection, and that she's not alone here in a stadium of 96,000 people. Yeah, It was such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful moment. And this verse reminds me of that, that, that friendly moment that I had with her to share this happiness with her. You can have that special memory together. I didn't get her number afterwards. We're not connected on Mm. social media. But I know that we'll always have this special space Mm. with each other and that she felt she wasn't alone. I love that, Jen. And I think that's exactly like the application out of today's verse. It's find moments for connection. It's seek out times to interact with people where maybe you would avoid it. Maybe you would pick the, what's it called? The self-serve checkout? Yes. Yeah, maybe you would pick the self-serve checkout pick the cashier ask them how their day is yeah. going you know we don't have to overcomplicate it find ways to smile at strangers find ways to share love in just such really their surface level ways mm. they're not deep they're not intellectual they're not theological it's literally just going 
how am I going to look different to someone who doesn't know Jesus? And it's as simple as that. You don't have to have hours and hours of time and space. Sometimes it's just a friendly smile and, and encouragement and joy. A friendly smile makes you happy and good news makes you feel strong. Proverbs 15 verse 30. I love today's episode. You know, sometimes we talk about loving on people and sharing the the gospel with people through the way we serve. And sometimes that can feel like a lot. This scripture makes it incredibly simple. Love on people in the way that our demeanor is. Love on people in the way that we find meaningful connections and points to chat with people. Let's be different. Let's be the ones that smile, that compliment, that find joy. Let's be people who encourage. I cannot wait to dive even deeper into the Word of God with you tomorrow, but until then, I pray you're able to find moments of joy.